All right. Hey everyone, Gem Games here. We're going to start a new 3D platforming game called Jack and Daxter. Uh, this game holds a special place in my heart. Um, <laughs> yeah, Spyro, if Spyro was my childhood, then Jack and Daxter was my teen years. And I have a pretty good story about discovering Jack and Daxter. Uh, I was pretty sick with chickenpox for about two weeks and my brother's copy was just lying there and I thought, yeah, I'll just give it a go. So I popped it in and I really enjoyed it. It's really reminiscent of Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. And those games were pretty much, yeah, my introduction to console games. And Jack and Daxter were my teen years. So I'm really excited to get into Jack and Daxter. And I'm going to be going through the whole trilogy. So let's get started. New game. Uh, we'll go empty. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? Ooh, I why? have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do, do not, not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting yeah, all my Dexter. guidance. Yeah, and Jack. why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey. You fool re rebellion. Oh, Old green stuff told us not to come here. Bad dudes. Here they are. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know. That's raspy and boobs. <laughs> Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. Uh, I don't recall their names. It's been ages since I played Jack and Dexter. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Serious purple liquid. It sure don't look friendly. Nope. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next oh, guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Help! In he goes. And now he's a little weasel. Man, that's dumb. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you <laughs> listened. What? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> nope. Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And, then... and Daxter, 
You finally took a much needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, <laughs> I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in so ages. So find them. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the sure, fire why canyon, they? but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. All right, here we go. I haven't played Jack and Daxter in. This device in... is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Probably been about six, seven years since I last played Jack and Daxter. But I'll get used to the controls again. That's to roll. Uh, how do you? <coughs> yep. <coughs> Slam. Punch. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Yes, Collect Kira. Enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Yeah, you can't really skip her instructions. Catch these. Now this is what we got to get. Yep. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-grab zoomer. Radio. Just punch this. Oh. There you go. <coughs> Slam that. And then we go get it. Okay. That. Uh, in these boxes are these little flies. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. Yep. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the workers must have captured them all. Hey. Well, I'll get him back. Go and power cell. Wow. He's trying to get one. They that do the pose. I had a power cell. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. See land in the distance. That's blue eco, which contains 
the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Okay. So just get it. And that should draw all the little eggs to us. The orbs. That's full eggs. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm stuck. Increases the time you can use its power. We gotta go to this vent over here. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated yes, than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. I know. Around and we just run. And that opens the door. Another orb. Oops. Good work! The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have been dormant for years. Something down there. That's the health. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. There we go. All the eggs. You can Old jump eggs. once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Yep. The last one. There you go. We've done our training. Can we go back home? All right. Green Sage, yep. compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you... Get out! Get out of here! All right, all right. Now, we're not going to go to the beach first. Because... We gotta go to the forest first, which is to the right a bit. Because you can't really reach some areas at the beach without activating the blue eco, which is in the forest. Hey! It looks like 
Scout flies are always in red boxes. That's the beach. That's the bird lady. Talk to her later. Ah, uh, this guy, he wants his cows back. Yeah, we'll help him out. Mm, gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get him back into the corral? Yep. And now we get a punch him. In you go. No, nope, wrong way. This way. That's one, two, three. There's another one over there. I think it's just cool. Here you go. You get this one over here. Keep going. Not that way. Thanks to poor things nose. Around the rock. Oh, in you go. That's it. And last one. You go. In you go. There we go. That should up oh, no. Yeah, bring in the crops for the children. Bring in the crops. <laughs> so there's five. Of course there's gotta be five. Come on. Move. Not that way. There we go. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. All right. Mm -hmm. in all your cows. Yeah, I talk to him. Oh, that's it. oh that's it. well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Trophy earned. Yeehaw! Ah, oh, that goes to the canyon where we can take the car. Or the, the, um, not the car. <laughs> what am I saying? The vehicle. You don't yeah. have enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. You can't cross Fire Canyon until you collect enough power cells. Got it. What's up here? She's still following me. Uh, Kira, your little speaker is still following me. I don't know why. Anyway. Let's go to the forest. There we go. Hello, 
Forbidden Jungle. I want to get that. Never mind. Hello, frog. Some nasties in here. I can't get that snake. Destroy all these mirrors. Yeah. Bridge. And there's a fisherman down there, I've got to help out later. Our way into the tower. We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Not now, Dexter. Go here. Wing. Uh, 
Ah, there's a the vent there. on those posts and there's lightning coming out of that vent over there yep are you thinking what I'm thinking okay yeah that activates the boots okay we gotta run open this door we need to get to the top of that tower yep Here. Oh, another vent. Scout fly. More. There we go. Yep. Hey! Don't leave without me. We go down. go there first instead of the beach. Okay. And on this, there we go. There we there he is. Hey fella. Gonna chop. Okay. Now we <laughs> whack his head. He's gonna jump. Jump. Now shit. And we smack his face. Yeah. And he's gonna go up. We smack his face again. And he dies. There we go. And 
half, he squish his head. The power cells will come out. It's a little morbid, but oh well. How many you got? Oh, he's got no more. <coughs> That's a shame, ain't it? No. Now we can go. Whoop. Yeah, it was fun. Okay. I don't remember what we need to do about the mirrors, but I know there's a fisherman somewhere down here. If I can find that sideways path. Open if you power up with that yeah. blue ego stuff. <laughs> I was right behind you, Jack. Really? I was. Alright. Now I'm back here. How do you get down? Yeah, the plant's dead, so all the little tentacles are dead. Tendrils a nice touch. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I think there's a power cell. You swim out of the river. There's the fisherman. Now smack the fish. Yep. Smack the fish. And smack a fish. Ah, oh, scout fly. So you gotta follow the river. Hey, fish. To further out because there is a even bigger fish that likes to eat us. So we'll just go on this little island. Okay, and we'll go back in. fish how are we going ah connect the eco beams open the lock temple door okay Go back help the fisherman oh get this we got it. Fisherman, where are you? All right. Hey. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Damn monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. Right. And now they're gobbling up my catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. You want to try the challenge? Yep. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishes and five pound fishes. 
If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them bluffers, and he'll poison the whole darn catch. Okay. Then fishy. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Ah. Here comes a big one. Yeah, watch the eel. Watch the eel. No. Big one. Oh, they're coming fast. Here comes a big one. Oh, don't get the ear. Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Steady boy. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Ah. Here comes a big one. Hold steady. Steady boy. Right with you. You did it! Get it! You caught 200 pounds of fish! Not bad for a couple of land lovers. Here's the power sum I promised. And you can use my boat in the village dock whenever you like. Great. So that's how we can get back to Misty Island. <laughs> oh, he's happy. He's a happy bloke. <laughs> I know there's a way to open up that side door tower. Hello, snake. Don't bite me, please. Hey, problem. This door. I don't see a way. Hmm. Can I jump over here? Ah, there we go. There we go. That might be the way. Okay. I go around the side. go. Is it? No. Ah, what am I doing? Go. 
about here? Whoa! Oh, there's a um, thing there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no! I'm gonna run out. Gah! There's another mirror. That. There we go. Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there. Actually, don't fight me. I used to speed through this level like nothing when I was a teenager, but I've forgotten everything. <laughs> um. Can you hear that happy bloke down there? get to that side door. the beam that's not the last one oh well I think we've got enough for here yeah there's just that uh, I 
think we've got enough power cells. So we can leave. Hey, and then it's right on the fish. Okay, that beam's done. Oh well. We'll go back. And then we'll go to the beach next. So that was Forbidden Jungle. Alright guys, uh, we'll tackle the beach in the next episode. And eventually we'll go back to Mr. Yolan as well. So yeah, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe to my channel Gem Games, and I'll see you later.